Hello everyone, welcome to PeopleSoft channel. Let's learn something new today. My name is Siva Koya. I am PeopleTool Certified Implementation Specialist. In my previous videos, I discussed how to generate trace for SQR App Engine. In this video, let's explore COBOL tracing. The process of setting a trace for a COBOL program is almost similar to setting trace in App Engine or SQR. The first step is obviously we need to identify the COBOL program for which we need to set the trace. Second, we need to grab the trace parameters. Third, you need to apply those trace parameters in the process definition of that COBOL program. And fourth and last step, obviously you need to run the COBOL program. Let's go ahead and run through these steps in the front end. Login into your PeopleSoft system. First step is to pick any COBOL program to set the trace. I would pick a delivered COBOL program so that anyone can run. So in order to do that, navigate to People Tools, Process Scheduler, System Process Request. Let's give any run control. Click on the run button. My favorite pick is, scroll a little down. Here we go. This is my favorite pick, a simple COBOL test program. This is a delivered COBOL program. Why I love this COBOL program is it's easy to run from system process requests and it doesn't harm anything if you run this program. I would run this COBOL program for a COBOL sanity check, especially after recent upgrade. If you want to make sure if all your COBOLs are compiled, I would run this program to make sure all the COBOLs are com compiled. Let's pick this COBOL program as a candidate for setting the trace. Copy this. Next step is to grab the trace parameters. So in order to do that, navigate to People Tools, Process Scheduler, Process Types. Unlike App Engine, you are not required to remember the trace parameters. It's readily available in the Process Types. Hit on the Search button. Next, depending where your PeopleSoft application is installed, in my case, the PeopleSoft application is installed on a Windows OS and it's an Oracle database. Click on the COBOL SQL hyperlink and you can see the parameter list is readily available here. All you need to do is copy this. Let's navigate to the process definition of the COBOL program we have selected. Go here processes process name is ptp db tst similar to app engine navigate to override options here you need to paste your trace parameters and make sure the parameter list is override here in case of sqr and app engine it will be append but in case of COBOL, it's override and save. Next step is similar to App Engine, you need to come up with a magic number. Depending on the granularity of the trace you need, you need to come up with a magic number. My favorite pick is 135. That would be, I would add SQL statement 1, SQL statement variables 2, plus 120 at COBOL statement timings. So if you add 128, plus 4, plus 2, plus 1, 135. So if you want to have an in-depth COBOL trace, you can add all these numbers. Hope you are ready with that number. Next, with the help of cursor, move all the way to the end. So I'm moving all the way to the end of the trace parameters. In the end, just before DB flag, you, you can see two forward slashes. Paste the number here. So I will paste my number 135, save the process definition. Let's go ahead and run the program. Simple Cobalt.
process ran to success let's see if it generated any trace file view log trace yes it generated the trace file this is the cobalt trace and you can see the statement timings and sql statements and so on i hope you learned something new today if you are new to this channel please consider subscribing i will come up with more videos thank you so much for watching see you soon